Welcome back for today's video. I'm going to show you how to mix bleach together with your laundry detergent uh, to make an even more potent solution here. Now there are a few things that we need to note here. This should really only be used on your whites. So I have uh, put up my whites here. We just did the colors uh, for with vinegar. You can check that out later if you want. Um, so before we actually mix the two together, I suggest that you do a quick test here so that we know that the bleach won't ruin the clothes. Also, one thing to note here is that not all clothes can handle bleach. Uh, you can very easily check uh, the, the tag. So I have this shirt here, for example, and you can see here uh, this symbol, the triangle, that means bleach. So this one has a cross over it. So that means essentially that this one can't handle bleach. Uh, this is pretty common with like silk, mohair. Mm, I can link my article below if you want uh, to read more about which clothes you should watch uh, with bleach. But as a general rule of thumb, I like to do like white towels, cloths, uh, generally clothes that starts to lose their uh, whiteness. This bleach is very effective. It's a, essentially a laundry booster. So let me show you how to do the test here. So essentially what we're going to do is that we're going to create the solution that we're going to use. We use six parts uh, of water to one part of bleach. Now this is chlorine based bleach. You can also very easily use an oxygen based bleach. Usually we will find that that's even better actually. So let me just mix this out here. This is two teaspoons and I'm going to add about one fourth of a cup of water here. So for us uh, non-Americans that equates to about 10 milliliters uh, plus 60 milliliters of water. Right, so now I have my solution here. Now you don't really want to go above this uh, measurement as that will be just too much bleach. Uh, it's pretty diluted, but we're going to do a test here on one of my t-shirts uh, that I know can handle this. So I like to find a part that's uh, <laughs> not going to be visible since it will take some damage, so like a corner or something. And I'm just going to dip it into the solution like this. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to wait for one minute and we're going to see uh, if there are any adverse effects. All right, guys, so one minute has passed and as you can see, there are no adverse effects to this uh, t-shirt. What we're going to do now is that I'm going to pop the clothes in the washer and I'm going to show you how you add the bleach to the actual washing process. All right, so I've got all my clothes in the washer. Now I'm going to add the laundry detergent first there. If you know anything about me, I always say that these are scams. So I'm just going to fill it about halfway up here. Uh, also, the bleach is a very strong booster, so that's going to help. So obviously for your uh, front loaders, it's going to be a little bit different, but I'm going to tell you how to do it on a top loader as well. So I'm going to add it to the washing compartment here. Just add the detergent like this. And now directly on top of that, we can actually add the bleach if you want to. This is pretty distilled already. If you have a bleach dispenser on your washer, that's even better. Hey guys, this is Tor sitting here and editing this. I just wanted to add that if you're going to put the bleach in the bleach dispenser, remember to turn on pre-wash as well. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's, <laughs> it's just going to sit there. Anyway, back to the video. So I'm just going to add it directly into the drum here. It's already pretty diluted and obviously the, the washer is going to dilute it even further. And here you can see uh, mixing the two together doesn't have any adverse effects at all. Now if you have a front loader, this is all you need to do. If you have a top loader, it's better if you let it fill up with water first, add a clothes detergent, start it, and then you add a bleach because that's going to help further dilute the bleach. All right, so today I'm actually going to do a cotton cycle here and let's pop it down to 40. If you do wash with bleach, it is usually better to have a little bit of a temperature uh, as the bleach tends to react better with uh, the hotter temperatures. 40 is fine. Let me just pop this down to a little bit. Yeah, 120 is fine. 40 degrees. I usually keep the high spin cycles as that doesn't use much electricity at all. Then we start it and I'll show you the results once it's done here. Now, one thing I would like to note here, if you have allergies, react badly to harsh chemicals, maybe bleach isn't the best idea for you. I'm going to list my article on this uh, down in the pinned comments. I'm Big article on how to use bleach in the washer. Actually, you should probably read through that before you do this so you don't damage anything in your washer. And um, yeah, I'll show you how this turns out. I just wanted to add in here while it's running that you can add uh, an extra rinse if you're, um, for some reason, your clothes smells a little bit like bleach when they're done. All right, so the whites are done. And as you can see, no damage from the bleach whatsoever. And the shirts looks white and clean as I have ever seen them. Ah, oh, smells uh, 
slightly bleach but very clean so next i'm going to take a look at wool hair and how to use the washing machine in general so you can check that out next remember if you want more details go to the article before you try this yourself and i'll see you next time